we basically create animated or film CONOPS, which stands for Concept of Operations for Technical Companies. This consists of defense contractors, basically anyone who has a complex technical concept that they're trying to communicate. Um, that's hard to do with traditional mediums like PowerPoint or, or still imagery. Uh, so we basically take live action, we'll integrate visual effects and animation to help tell their story or sell their concept to higher level people who traditionally might not be technical, such as congressmen um, that ultimately make the budgetary decisions. Basically, I followed the traditional mechanical engineering path. I started off at Harris Corporation, which is a large defense contractor. I worked there for nine years as a mechanical engineer. Uh, throughout my career, I slowly started getting into animation. Um, I started animating my own designs. Um, I started getting more into systems uh, engineering. And then basically, I started transitioning and seeing the, the, how powerful an animation could be when you're trying to communicate uh, complex technical concepts. So then basically, I kind of transitioned into doing these animations for these complete projects rather than just my part of it that I was working on. And so over the nine years that I was there, um, I just kind of slowly made this transition. And so that's really the niche that I found and um, has allowed me to interface with engineers, but then also have over 12 years of animation experience to create you know, visually aesthetic, pleasing uh, pieces that really help communicate these, these hard ideas that are you know, difficult for people to understand, especially if you're non-technical. What we use this for is, if you look around the room here, there's actually eight infrared cameras that are picking up the dots on Brad's suit here. So what they're doing is triangulating the position of each dot, and then by figuring out that data, it can actually fit a skeleton to that and use that to apply to our animated characters. That way we can get much more realistic human motion um, from our animated characters that uh, you would get if you were trying to actually do it by hand on the computer. So this is a technology that you see in the game industry used a lot, and we're using it now for technical animations for a lot of our soldiers. My favorite part of the job is probably coming up with the creative ideas. The engineers typically come to us and they say, you know, here's what we want to do. This is the hard technology that we're trying to visualize. We don't really know how to do that. Um, we need your help. And so that's when my creative side gets to kick in. And I basically get, get to be the director or producer of these pieces and figure out a way that we can show visually how, how certain technologies work so that people can understand them.